Shout out to the KJ fam, and you're rocking with Kristen and Jamil. And we're back, you guys, for another mukbang. Woo! But not just any mukbang. What? You guys, today we are actually eating our homemade tater tot casserole that we yes. made the day before. So watch that video if you haven't seen. Recipe is in that other video. Uh -huh. uh, shout out to Mary DeShane for this amazing recipe. Uh, we are so excited to eat it. We already served ourselves. Uh -huh. So our plates are ready to go. <laughs> Good to go. Exactly. And we cannot wait to dig in. Uh, full disclosure, yeah. um, we made the recipe yesterday, mm -hmm. and it was so, so late at night that we really just didn't have time to eat it and record mm -hmm. another mukbang to to eat it. So um, this is the next day. Yeah, exactly. So we just reheated and everything, which is why if you watched the video yesterday to now, it just looks a little different, just because we reheated it and everything. So Yes. But it looks delicious. I know. And I'm a super excited. Honestly, and I'm starving. So we're going to dig in. Okay. We're going to dig in right now, okay? Have you ever had tater tot? No, no, tater but before? I love tater tots and I love mushroom, um, uh, cream of mushrooms. So I'm sure it's going to be good. I'm excited. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. One, One two, two, three. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. I, I love it. I, I knew it was going to be good, though. I mean, mm. like, that's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mary. Yes. It's super good. I love it. Don't judge me. I also brought some sour cream. I feel mm. like that would be good with this. There's some Old Bay hot sauce mm. here. Let's see. Oh, man, that's so good. That. I have crystal. It's so good. And what I like about this recipe is you really can add whatever you want to it. Yeah, you can. And a lot of people were, mm -hmm. a lot of the fam were saying, oh, I totally make this recipe too, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, and then a lot of people were telling me just how they change it, you know, to their to their taste. You their know? own taste, yeah. Yeah, I was Which like, yeah, sense. you could do anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the good thing with like mm -hmm. tater tots and french fries and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You really can kind of fix it up however you want, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so mm -hmm. good. So good. Okay. Mm. The sour cream, mm -hmm. it hits. It does, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'll try it with that in just yeah. a second. Well, if you never tried, and a crystal, tried this before. Obviously, if you love tater tots, you gotta try this because it's mm -hmm. it's really flavorful. Mm -hmm. Um, you added a great amount of salt, which is perfect, and pepper. It really comes through, which is awesome. Thank you. I don't think it added yeah. salt. Oh, I don't, pepper. I added pepper. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. I knew that. Because I recorded it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> I but forgot. it didn't, I feel like it didn't need the salt. Cause no, it, it tastes like there's, it still tastes like the salt's in there. Mm -hmm. But it's because of all the other stuff, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. mm. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, this is so good. This is delicious. Yeah. Mm. So, mm. yeah, you guys, sometimes when we record, because we had done our live yesterday, and we had recorded a little bit after, we waited a little while. And then it was just, by the time we finished, it was just so late. We just decided to head to bed, yeah. Yeah, I had to work the next day. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, yeah. I feel bad because it would have been nice no, to record. Don't. But it's still delicious. I'm happy. Um, it's really, really good. Yeah. Mm. You know what? I didn't even notice there wasn't enough meat. It's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. For two people, I think what we did was perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot in there, too. There is. Even if you had a family of four, mm. you could probably get away with what we did. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very true. Mm. Some of our fam... I'm so hungry. Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's mm. go. Some of our fam... Mm. I'm mentioning that maybe they like, they layer it. Like, one layer of tater tots, oh, then the meat mixture, idea. another layer of tater tots, and then cheese and, like, what up, whatever. That's a good idea. Oh, uh huh. I think that's smart. Mm. Yeah, and that's the interesting thing about it. I, like you said, there's m multiple ways to make this. Mm -hmm. It's really completely up to you, whatever mm. you decide. Mm -hmm. And this is so good. Mm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I spilled some. Ah, uh, spilled it. I get it. Did you try it with the sour cream? I did. It was very good. It's good, right? This all Bay seasoning is really good mm. too. With it. it adds a lot to it. I had it with crystal. Really let's get good. that too. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, we have so many hot sauces, which is awesome. You guys, we have so many. Hot sauces. We got how many do you think we have? Um, like, 
Oh my gosh. Different ones? Yeah. Probably eight. I at guess it's not a lot. No, at least eight. I mean, we have more hot sauces because we have like multiple of them. Let's see. We have Old Bay, and then we have the other three that Kate Dawson uh, gave us. Shout out to you, Kate Dawson. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our crystals, but we have two crystals. Mm -hmm. We got Louisiana, Cholula. We have um, um, Valentina, Valentina, Sriracha, Sriracha. and. We did have a Verde salsa, but that was that's not like a hot sauce. Oh, no. We have the taco sauce. We have the, that, your Tabasco thick one you like. Mm. And we have another Tabasco. I counted that. We have oh. at least 11, I'm counting. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> we have our hot sauce to, to the max. You guys, we go all in on hot sauce, <laughs> as you know. It's fun. It's a good time. <laughs> mm. Then we have the... um. Oh, it's called the F.U. sauce. F.U. It was the one that... Well, let me actually... Let me grab it really quick. I don't remember that. Yeah. You remember it. I had it yesterday. Or not yesterday, but the day before. Did I eat it? Huh? Did I try that? One after oh. drop at a time. No. Oh. Yes. That's 12. Yep. 12. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, I don't know why we have so many. You're bringing it to show the fam, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm bringing it right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. One up and drop at a time. Shout out to Akina mm -hmm. for that one. Because that was really, really good. Man. It's yeah. crazy how many we have. I know. Anyways. No, you guys, we go all in. You guys, there's... Honestly, there's a whole world of hot sauces. Mm -hmm. You guys have to try. I mean, obviously, a lot of people don't like hot sauce. And I'm not a huge hot fan, as you know, yeah. but... There's a ton of hot sauce, like, for example, like this, in my opinion, yeah. super mild, you know, but adds a lot of flavor. That's a good point. So you don't have to necessarily love hot sauce to appreciate, I think, um, hot, hot sauce. sauce? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's the, <laughs> I know, oh my right? God. <laughs> I think that's the good thing about it is, you know, like, there's different ranges, right? Should like, um. A spoon to start a waffle. Oh, it's just us, guys. It's us. It's us. It doesn't really matter. That is what it is. Honestly, after this, once we, like, now that. Mm. You know, we're done with this. We're just going to be eating out of this pan anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the rest of Full it, Full disclosure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was going to say, oh, the thing about hot sauces is you really do have, like, you have the ones that are, like, super hot, right? Like, this one is very, very hot. If When I do this one, I only do, like, a drop of it at a time. Oh, let me show you guys a little bit closer. When I do this one, I do this one, like, a drop at a time. Mm-hmm. Oh, crazy. But Wait, there's a curse word in there. Can you not... It's fine. Can you not show? You're right. You're right. <laughs> no, but we showed it before. Oh, did we? Yeah, okay. we showed it several times. Okay. Sorry, guys. There's a curse word in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. Disclosure. <laughs> yeah. Um, I forget what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. But it's nice because not all of them are hot. Like this Old Bay seasoning one. There's a little bit of a kick to it, like mm -hmm. a little bit, but it's just really flavorful, mm -hmm. which makes it really nice. And crystal, too, you know? Totally. Like you're saying. So that's kind of cool. Mm. We got to get more. If you guys have any suggestions on other other hot sauces, let us know. Can I change the subject super quick? No. So, <laughs> no, go ahead. I was at work today. Mm hmm Well, we work remotely uh -huh. from home, which is good, but I was working, I was talking to my supervisor, and I was literally, like, we were doing supervision, mm -hmm. and we were literally, like, I was in the middle of a sentence, mm -hmm. and I literally forgot where I was going with my sentence. <laughs> like, I forgot my train of thought, mm -hmm. and I was, like, so, I don't know, I was, like, embarrassed, you know? Mm -hmm. Has that ever happened to you? Of course. Like, you, like you're in the middle of the sentence, you start mm -hmm. it, and you think it's going to be this, like, profound thing you say, <laughs> and then, then you have to be, like... Uh, you know, I have no idea what I, you just sound so dumb, you know, I was like, oh my God, she's, she's super cool, but still, I was just like, oh. Were you thinking about other stuff? Is that what happened? Because that's what happens to me when I lose my train Probably, of thought, yeah. I start to think about, okay, the yeah. next thing, and I'm like, oh no, I forgot what I was going to say. I was trying to eloquently say the first part mm. and forgot what the second part was. Yeah. She was super she's like, okay, yeah, no worries. She's like, you were saying, and then she's like, blah, 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 you know, she reiterated what I was saying. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, and then I remember, <laughs> but it's not a big deal, but yeah. I don't know, it's just embarrassing when we're talking to, like, 
at lost. work. Yeah. yeah, you're like, I don't remember what I was saying. I don't know. Anyway. No, that makes a lot of sense. Well, it's easy to lose your train of thought. I think it's when you like think too hard, mm. right? Or when you're trying to you're hold on to the thought. <laughs> too intellectual. You're too intellectual. Well, it? that's why every day I do that. I lose it, you know? <laughs> every day. And Chris is just called us because you're intellectual. <laughs> too intellectual. <laughs> To be exact, you're ahead of your you're ahead of the your prime. Exactly. <laughs> mm. This is so good. Mm, mm, mm. And I am full now. Me too. Super yeah. filling. Mm-hmm. Mm. I would definitely um. Oh, uh, I would definitely say what what was really good. I love how you added the um. Uh, uh-huh. The green onions. Uh huh. Bacon. Uh-huh. I love green. Oh, and the bacon too. And cheese. Oh, maybe the bacon's why it tastes so much salt, uh, more salty. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Yeah. Yeah. No, the bacon's good though. I loved it. I love it. A lot of people said too, like you know how I just added cheese on top, mm-hmm. which is totally doable. Uh-huh. Some people put cheese in the mixture. Yeah. Of the cream of mushroom and the beef, and just sense. put the cheese in there. That's actually a good idea too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I mean, Mary said you really can't mess it up, and it's true. Yeah. No, if you have tater tots or french fries, it's hard to mess it up. Very hard. You yeah. can put almost anything over it and it's fine, you know? Anything. Totally. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, no, But I like this sure. one. I like it gives a... Oh, and we put the soy sauce. That's what it is. Soy sauce. So you don't um, need salt. That's what it is. That's but right. I was like, there's something else that was salty. Yeah. That's right. Um, I like it because it gives a... You know, you get a creamy, but you get like a, a salty, mm-hmm. um, you know, vibe to this. Um, and then, but it's also super hearty with the meat and the potatoes, which is really good. It's delicious. Easy meal. So good. Easy meal, and you can feed a lot of people with that, depending on how mm-hmm. much of the ingredients you have. Why don't we cook more? You know? So I was, yeah. We cook more. Okay. <laughs> so I was talking to my coworker about this, actually, today. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's, you know, shout out to people, shout out. You know, I'm serious, yeah. and I really mean this. To mm-hmm. pe- everybody, and the, the, I think the majority of people do this, but not yeah. everybody. Mm-hmm. Shout out to people that can actually go get a, go in their car, drive to the store, <laughs> go down every single aisle, grab the things, put it in the cart, pay for it, come mm-hmm. back, put it in your fridge. Yeah. And then you have to go and start, you know, preparing to cook. Take out all the ingredients. <sighs> you chop, 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 saute, 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 mix, mix, mix. You know, then you're cooking the meal for the family, and then you get... You know, people usually eat on real plates, not paper. <laughs> and then you got to do the dishes and clean up the pots and pans, blah, blah, blah. It's true. I mean, if you think about from like the start to finish of mm-hmm. for just one of the one meal, yeah. the first meal. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's hard to do, but I do it well. You know, I don't. Um, <laughs> it's hard to do, but I do it well. <laughs> do you <laughs> just say that? <laughs> okay. But no, you know what no, I mean? I like, it's actually like. Three hours. Yeah, of course. Of course. So, which, again, some... Well, it's making priorities, right? And yes, it's like, what do you want... Yes, where do you want to put your time in your day? That's and right. And some people, yeah. lo- you know, really think... You know, and I think it's great. Yeah. You know, super dedicated to home-cooked meals, or, or they have to do it because of yeah. money reasons, because obviously it's yeah. usually more um, inexpensive to mm-hmm. buy things at the store for the family versus going out to eat all the time. But um, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. So hands down to people who do do that every single day. I have a friend. Exactly, yeah. Who does every day? Two small kids and a husband. Yeah. Cooks every single night. That's now, awesome. once in a while, you know, mm-hmm. maybe they'll go out again. Something. But yeah, but for the most part, she's they're doing always that. cooking a meal, you know? Yeah. And That's how I grew up. Always cleaning. Always going to the yeah. store. Mm-hmm. I told her I cooked too. Well, yeah, yeah, no, well, exactly. Yeah, no, we cooked the majority of the time, but we majority did go out time. like sometimes, you know. I was gonna say, I think it's kind of a, a the newer generation, right? Our age, where mm-hmm. people eat out. Maybe not every night they eat out, mm-hmm. but a lot. They eat out majority of the time. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of all my a lot of my friends like they're eating out. Yeah. At least two times a week, mm-hmm. at least maybe even three times. You know. I also have to say too, with our generation now, we have. Um, mm-hmm. What do we have? You know, DoorDash we have DoorDashes, stuff, yeah. we, you know, a Postmates, but not just that. We have those. Uber Eats. No. Uh, yes, Uber Eats. Okay, yeah, Uber Eats, yes. <laughs> no, but we have those things where you can just order your meal from a company oh, and then they'll like ship plated. it to you. Like plated. plated, yeah. Where they'll either just ship you the ingredients ready to go or they'll ship you the whole meal ready to go. 
Yeah, exactly. Depending on some of them, I, are, uh, it's like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just think there's actually a local place where, uh, near where we live mm-hmm. that does the same thing. You pick up, you order your meals online, and then you can just go pick it up from their like restaurant. It's nice. And mm-hmm. they're like, and it's super like organic and healthy, mm-hmm. like farm to table kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like we there are a lot more options sure. for also healthier meals. Now they're it's more expensive. Yeah. Then I think true. just going to the store and buying your ingredients that you need for the exactly you know like when you do something like plated where you yeah. they give you the ingredients they yeah. send it to you and you cook it. Um, it's definitely way more expensive. We did well because they yeah we did it for a little while and they they charge you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean you're like. If you, you know, I think pretty much if you do that for a whole month, mm-hmm. you're paying double what you would pay for in the store. Probably. And it's kind of unfortunate because it's like, you might as well just buy the stuff from the store. Mm-hmm. Well, like, yeah. I think so. But, I mean, yes, sure. But I have to say, you know, some people with yeah. money, you know, have more abundance of that. And they, and again, true. you know, they think, well, where do I want to invest my time? Yeah, you know? that's true. And people are like, that's well, true. I have probably other hobbies or, mm-hmm. or career career things that I'm working on so for some people it's worth spending extra it's actually true to nourish their bodies and the way they do you know this um guy that I did a video for which you know I did um a while back uh millionaire he was like a millionaire and one of the things he said is he loved to cook a lot but he doesn't have the time he just doesn't have the time or he has the time but he would have had to take away time from cooking so he just ordered out all the time which makes sense, right? Because he just... So he loved to do it. He loved to cook. But he preferred... But time-wise, he mm-hmm. wanted to put his time towards work mm-hmm. rather than cooking, mm-hmm. shopping, and doing all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. What you should do is if you want like a really good home-cooked meal, you just got to find time earlier in the week, maybe prep for it, mm-hmm. and then have it. You know, That way you don't have to every day do what we do where we're grabbing all the ingredients, putting it together, just prep for it. That's what my mom does. You know, yeah. she preps. Most people do. Oh, prep. You mean like yeah, chop, and chop have it everything, up. right? I was going to say, I don't uh, think most people I, do I that. Went, yeah, because a lot of preps are to go to the store and grab every single thing you need yeah. and you know what you're making. Exactly. That's a way to prep. That's but you're actually prep. talking about chopping up things and having it kind of Literally ready for the, the meal. Literally the whole thing ready. So you yes. throw it in when, mm-hmm. on the day. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like my mom will, um, she'll literally cook everything and then freeze it. Uh-huh. And then re-eat it when she's ready. But she'll have everything like pre-packaged and stuff like that. Which is kind of cool, uh-huh. you know? It's like plated in that sense, you know? Yeah. Uh, maybe not plated, but one of the other ones where they actually have it ready, you just got to heat it up, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. So it's pretty cool, yeah, you know? Yeah, it is true. I, think, yeah. I feel like that's the way to go, you know? I think that makes a lot of sense. Do you want to do it? We need to cook more. Yes, I really do want to cook more. Really do want to cook more. I really do want to cook more. I agree. I, I want yeah. to also. Uh-huh. I really do. Um, we just, you know, you have got to be, you, I think too, for people who, um, mm-hmm. cook every day, which most, a lot of people do, yeah. especially with families, which I totally understand. Yes. Um, you have to be organized. You have to be organized, mm-hmm. prepared. I mean, ideally, you I know, do. not maybe every single day. Sometimes you can throw a meal together, you yeah. know, you're like, Oh, yeah. what do I have? You know, in my pantry or whatever. That's right. But I, you know, ideally, yeah, they're very organized, which yeah. hats off to you guys. I remember growing up, I remember when I was very <laughs> young, Excuse me. um, like, I had friends that would, like, you know, they went to McDonald's and Taco Bell, like, often. Like, you know, I, I had one friend, like, you know, one, maybe once a week, twice a week, he would go there and get a lot of food. And I just remember thinking, like, man, you're eating good, man, yeah. you know? <laughs> All the good stuff. Yeah. Because my mom refused, refused to do fast food. I think I remember from, I don't know, age, you know, born to maybe 12 doing like Taco Bell like twice yeah I remember that that's crazy and I and I think one of the times we actually moved right into a new place and my mom we couldn't cook because she didn't have all of our stuff so she literally like went out and got you know or my dad went out and got Taco Bell I think for us that was one that was like the first time I ever had it (laughs) and I was like you know 10 uh, what are you going to say? But now, now in hindsight, though, like when yeah. you saw like your friend, for example, eating Taco Bell every day. Yeah. And you oh. were like, oh, you're eating good. Now what do you think about Well, that? yeah. I'm like, ah, dude, you better watch out, man. It's not <laughs> the best. Have it done every day, you know? <laughs> yeah, but it's for funny sure. when you're like a teen. It's yeah, like, oh, you're lucky, yeah. you know? But in reality, it's eating like good probably stuff, man. Like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe he wanted a home-cooked yeah, meal maybe. or lunch or maybe. whatever. You know? Well, I don't know if he was complaining about that. You're not <laughs> complaining if you're eating McDonald's 
when you're when you're young like that every day. You're not, because it's so good. You know, it's so good. Yeah, maybe when you're older, you're yeah. like, oh, you know, yeah. And my mom could hook it up. She could cook, but you know, it's one of those things where it's you know, with fast food, it's like eye candy. You know, mm-hmm. it just looks so good. <laughs> Can I say yeah. something about yeah. you? Go ahead. You have the best cheekbones. Thank you. I try. I appreciate. You that. have a great cheekbone. No, you think so? Thank you. Oh, it's like like smile. Yeah, look at that. No. And she... <laughs> that's my smile. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, that's my new smile. No. <laughs> right, you guys? This is how you usually smile. <laughs> Don't do that. Your cheekbone is really Thank nice, you. though. I appreciate that. Mm. Thank you. I wish I had a cheekbone like that. You have good cheekbones. No. You do. Mm-hmm. It's Cheb. Yeah, it's Cheb. It's Cheb. You do have good cheekbones. Even when I'm like skinny, skinny. Yeah, I don't really don't have much of a cheekbone. You have good cheekbones. I, you know, this is Yours my mom. Prominent. My mom has really prominent cheekbones. Yeah, it's like model cheekbones. Thank you. For you, smile. Oh, sorry. <laughs> smile, smile, <laughs> smile. <laughs> <laughs> so... I don't know what you're doing. That's my new smile. I should make that my so, new smile. No, no, please. Spare the fan. <laughs> Spare the fan. What if you were with somebody though, and like that was their like go-to smile? Like they could smile like this, yeah. but they choose to do. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty I, funny. I would hope people would be like, ah. I know. Sorry, guys, we're going off topic a little bit, okay. but I appreciate that. Thank you for the compliment. You're welcome. No, you. it's really, really beautiful. Yeah, I. You know, it makes me regret the fact that I took. I regret, you know, the call to GQ when they called me. I said no. You know, I was just like, I don't want to do Man of the Year this year. I don't. I didn't want to do it. I do not want to do Man of the Year this year. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, shout out to Mary to Shane for this amazing recipe. If you want the recipe, go watch the video from yesterday. Absolutely. Um, Anything else? I think that's it. Okay. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and share this carry. Let your friends and family know with the Kate and Jay fam are doing. And until next time, guys, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever time it is out there. We will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. smile. Peace out, Trouts. Do not do that smile. No. It's not happening.